Hello everyone, my name is Dean and welcome back to another Ruby on Rails tutorial. Uh, today we're just going to quickly cover creating user avatars. Uh, so this is going to be a similar setup to how we created the usernames in the previous device tutorial. I'll have a link to that in a card somewhere. Uh, and we use those to log in. So today it's going to be a little bit different in the sense that we don't need to, you know, do all of the database finding. Like we're not trying to log in by uploading an image, although that would be pretty cool. Uh, so instead, we're just going to permit the image in the device controller, and then we're going to play around with it. We'll see if we can set like a default image. So if you're like a new account, you have a default avatar. Uh, and we'll also check a couple of different ways how you can see if, you know, the avatar is attached to the uh, to the user model uh, using like some uh, active storage stuff. Uh, we'll also be using image magic and mini magic processing, I think, or image processing, whatever the gem is. Um, so we'll cover that as well. But let's go ahead and let's jump into some code. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started by adding device into our gem file. So I'm just going to come below the uh, image processing gem and I'm just going to say gem device. And then I'll stop my server and I'll say rail or I'll run a bundle command getting slightly ahead of myself there. Uh, and then we'll run the rails g device colon install command to install device. And once that's done, we can run a rails g device user command. And once that's done, we can run a rails db colon migrate command to migrate the database. Next, we'll want to run a rails active underscore storage colon install command to install active storage if we haven't already. And now we can run a rails g controller pages home command to create a pages controller with a home action. So now let me go ahead and start the server and then we'll come into config and routes.rb to change this get to a root and the slash to a hash. And then we can refresh our application and it'll tell us migrations are pending that doesn't really make sense but i guess i might have forgotten to run it after creating the uh active storage stuff so let me run the rails db migrate command again and then another rails s command to start the server and one, while that's running i can come over to app views pages home.html and i'll refresh here just to get this working uh, and we can just go ahead and start creating some links so we'll say if current user else end so if we are the current user we're going to need a link to the sign out page so this is the destroy user session path with a method colon colon delete uh, and we'll just wrap this in a p tag just so that it gets spaced out a bit and then for the else we can say we need a p tag for the uh, sign up link. So we'll say link to create account. This is going to be the new user registration path. And then we can create one more p tag here. And this is going to be for the uh, new user session path. So we'll say link to sign in. And this is going to be the new user session path. So I'll save all that and I'll refresh and I'll create an account. I'll say dean at example.com with a password of password. And then I should be able to sign out, sign in with the same account. And all of that seems to be working as we would expect it to. Now let's go ahead and let's come into our models and our user.rb. And then here we're going to say the user has one attached avatar, avatar. Now we need to come into the application, not the application record, we need to come into the application controller. And in here we need to add in a before action to configure the permitted parameters. And this needs to be, let me just full screen this so you can see this. If we are in the device controller, and then we'll create a protected section and we'll say def, configure permitted parameters and and if you follow along with the device username sign in tutorial this is very similar uh, it's just this time we are telling the sanitizer to permit 
our avatar instead of our username. So here we're going to say avatar. Uh, thankfully, this one is a little bit easier because we don't also want to log in with our avatar. So we get to skip out on some of the warden authentication stuff, thankfully, because that's usually the biggest time sink. Uh, but if I just come over here and save this, hopefully my formatter will save me here. Looks like it did. And that should be it for the application controller. Let's now come into our views. We need to generate them. So let's stop the server and run a Rails G devise views command. And then we can run Rails S to restart the server uh, because we now want to come into our devise views for the registrations and we'll go into the edit registration. And in here above the uh, email, we're just going to start with a div with a class of field. And we're going to say uh, image tag for the resource.avatar underscore thumbnail. If resource.avatar.attached question mark. So we haven't created this resource.avatar thumbnail yet. So let's come into our user.rb. And down here, we'll just say def avatar thumbnail end. And then we'll say avatar dot variant variant. Uh, and we just want to resize this to, let's say 150 by 150. And we'll include the exclamation here to say, I don't care about your aspect ratio. You will do as I say. So even if uh, you know, 16 by 9 meant that this was, you know, 150 by something smaller, it will still force it to be 150 by 150. Uh, this does mean that we should come down to our gem file and uncomment the image processing gem, because I think variant relies on that. And then we can run a bundle install command again to install the image processing. And then you might also need to do a sudo apt get install and let me just uh, pop this out a little bit. Image magic with a K, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if this needs to be capitalized or not. It looks like image magic is already installed. So I think this is com the command, but if it's not, it might be image magic. Uh, no, so it is lowercase, so it's this first one. So ignore that second one. <laughs> but once we have that, we can then come back into our application and come to our edit page and below this avatar attached we'll just create another field and in here we'll just say uh, f dot file field for the avatar and we can save that now we can also come into our uh, new .html .erb, and below the device shared links again we'll create another field and in here we'll just say something like if resource dot avatar dot attached question mark else and so if it's attached then just do a image tag for the resource dot avatar um, so you know that's that's great but we don't have one attached right now so maybe we'll do something like image tag for um, slash default profile dot jpeg and then we'll just pop this in here. So we don't have this image in our application yet, but we're going to put this into our public folder, which is how we're going to uh, access this. Actually, you know what, this time we'll put it inside of our assets folder just to change things up a bit and sort of touch on uh, the asset pipeline a little bit. So I'm going to come to Unsplash and I'm just going to look for like unknown person or something. Uh, and let's just go with this balloon picture right here. So let me just download this. Uh, and then I will take this and inside of our assets images folder, I'm just going to drag this in and then I'm going to hit, I'm going to click it, hit F2, and I'm going to rename this to default profile, which is, I think what we called it. So this is going to be default profile.jpg. Uh, so now we can come into our new and yeah, this looks good. So now if there is no image attached, it will just show this uh, balloon icon here. So let's now come to the uh, home page again. And so we have the, uh, the current user sign out page. That seems fine. Uh, but what we want to do is say like below that, maybe we want a, another P tag. This is going to be a 
link to edit account. And this is going to be the edit user registration path. And then we'll just create one more uh, BR here, I guess. And this is just so that we can then say image tag for the current user dot avatar thumbnail. And that should be good. So let's just save all that and then let's refresh. Oops, let's start the server first. And then let's see what the issue is. Uh, avatar variant resize 150. Variant delegated to attachment, but attachment is nil. Gotcha. So what the issue here probably is, is we're checking if it's the current user, but we need to also say if uh, current user dot avatar dot attached question mark, right? So yeah, that fixes that. We could also do a validation inside of here. So we could say uh, if, or I guess we could do it up here and we can say if uh, avatar dot attached question mark, right? So if it's if it's attached to this, and then that should also stop this from being an issue maybe. So let's come into here and let's get rid of this. Just leave it like that. Uh, so now it's just providing nil. So maybe we wanna say, um, let's come into user. And instead of doing this, we could say, if avatar is attached, do this. Else uh, return the um, slash default profile.jpg and, and maybe that'll fix it. So there we go. We're just getting a, <laughs> a error page for now, but this works uh, good enough. We're not going to be using this anyways. Um, so it's not really that much of an issue. So let's come into our homepage and we have this image tag. Now let's try to actually edit our account. I'm just going to grab this picture of myself and I'll hit update. So there you can see I now have my user avatar. Uh, but what happens if I sign out and maybe I create a new account and we don't want to just point to this default profile photo? How do we make it so that uh, it's set to always have a photo attached? Well, we can do that fairly easily if we just come into our user.rb and we could do something like Let's say um, this uh, after, we'll give it an after commit and we'll say add default avatar on uh, percent I, and then we'll say for create an update. And then we can come down here below this because this one doesn't need to be public since we're using it in an after commit and we can say def add default avatar. And uh, unless the avatar is attached, then avatar dot attach. And we want to attach a IO for the file dot open. And we'll say rails dot root dot join. And we need to join the app to the assets, to the images, to the default avatar dot JPEG. Uh, and then we can come out of this app join and this file IO, and then we just put a comma and we'll say, so the file IO is good, but it also needs a file name and we'll give it a default underscore avatar dot JPEG as the file name. And for the uh, content underscore type, we'll give it a image slash JPEG. And if I save this, oops, and give it one more end tag and now save it. Uh, it doesn't look like it wants to, but I'll just fix it myself. So this looks about right, I think. Uh, so let's come into our homepage now. And I think this also looks good. So let me come into here. I'll refresh. I'll sign out. I'll create a new account. I'll call this test at case.com with a password of password. Oh, right here. I, I see what the problem is. I called the file name default profile and I called this default avatar <laughs> all right so let me uh sign out again i'll create another account test at case2.com with a password of password sign up and now it's working as expected of course that makes sense now if i come in here and edit you'll see that it's already showing my default avatar and i can change this to let's grab this profile picture and hit update and now i have my own unique avatar here i can sign out sign in 
Uh, we'll sign in to test at case.com and we'll fix this one, although this one also looks fine. So uh, I can edit this account and I can say for this one I want this chess playing picture. And there we go. That is avatars done in multiple different ways. I don't think you need this anymore because you are now um, forcing an after commit and I think the after commit fires before the home page. But that's a couple different ways to do some error handling here, attach avatars, resize them, um, and, you know, set defaults and all that other stuff. So I hope this was helpful, and I'm going to cut to the outro now. Okay, so that's going to do it for this uh, avatar tutorial device thing. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, remember to like it. If it didn't, remember to dislike it so we don't subject other people to more bad tutorials. I personally like it when other people have told me, you know, this video is only an 80% because then I know that I should probably go look for something else. Uh, and if that's the only video that's available, I know it's at least going to be a rough ride, so I'm ready to, like, mentally prepare myself before I even start watching the video. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for me. I hope this helped you guys, and I will see you in the next video.